Well, thank you for joining us this evening, Eric. Hey, thanks for having me, Eric. It's good to be here. Would you like a slice of pizza? Yeah, sure. I'll have a slice. Thank you. Well, we only have a few minutes, so keep your answers brief. No problem. So you have a pretty good voice. When did you start singing? Oh, well, thanks. Um, you know, I started singing early on when I was a young kid, just kind of singing songs. Uh, just, you know, around the house and stuff. That's where I started. Were you ever mm -hmm. in something like a choir? Um, I cannot confirm or deny that. Yeah. You okay? You okay? <laughs> Your first video was with Steamy in the City. It was in this very room. And there's a cover of a Bob Marley Waiting in Vain song. Do you consider yourself a fan of his music? Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Bob Marley, for sure. He's, he's, he's got fantastic hair. So what else inspires you? Uh, I would say... Soft. <laughs> soft winds. And, and very loud ocean sounds. Late, late at night. So in that video... How you, you were playing the keyboard and the guitars all at the same time. Was that difficult? Yes. <clears throat> so what type of food best describes your voice? It would be butter, sugar, or a pecan pie? I'm a fan of pecan pie, for sure. But I would probably have to say the butter and the sugar is smooth and sweet. So I've been told by some... <clears throat> So you write songs, what are they about? Uh, most of them are about myself and my experiences or other people and their experiences. So what's that song Dirty Weather about? You okay? Going for that oh. pizza. Um, Dirty Weather is uh, a song about someone who continues to call you after uh, kind of a relationship has ended and is over and you don't really want them to call you and when they do it's uh, it's it's annoying and real awkward nothing worse than that so is this the first time you've had a conversation with yourself tell me um, actually it's not no mm -mm. have you ever sung a song with yourself I have yeah actually uh, one of them is actually a video from steamy in the city Dave Matthews band the Christmas song and uh, the other one, huh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you find for yourself. Came out a few years ago. <laughs> okay, um, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you find that one for, for yourself. That's about six or seven hits, so it's really getting out there. You're a fan of Alan Stone, right? So what do you have to say about his music? You know, the first time that I, I heard Alan Stone, I saw him too. And it, it, you know, it sounded like it was a, a very large black woman coming out of a very skinny white male, which I found intriguing. If I gave you $50 right now, right here, what would you do with it? I'd probably, you know, buy you a little more pizza and uh, buy myself a train ticket out of here. What are you working on right now, musically speaking? Uh, you know, actually, uh, I'm currently working on a song that has to do with uh, the feelings that animals get when they watch their owners fight. So, should be fairly interesting. Would you say that animals often inspire the music that you write? Typically, yes. Often more than people. Well, that's great! Uh, that's all the time we have now, so thank you again for joining us, Eric. Not a problem, Eric. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you next time. I, I hope so. <clears throat> as soon as I get my feet back on the ground, yeah, I'm gonna show my face back in this town. 